are not ready for what you are about to face. Hi everyone, welcome back to another fighter showcase where I focus on a particular variant and find ways to make them shine. In the last video of this series, we covered Rerun and showcased a team that makes use of both of her signature abilities to inflict tons of precision damage. In that video, Inner Pieces was one of the crucial pieces, pun intended, of the team that enabled Rerun to be a useful support. Her ability to gain various buffs and transfer them to her teammates is absolutely ridiculous and there's so many different team combinations you can potentially use with her. Most of her obvious use cases is to supply variants with certain buffs to unlock parts of their signature ability. The biggest examples of these variants are Thrill Shrieker, Timeless Hero, and Risky Ginger. In these teams, Inner Pieces is there to use a blockbuster gain a particular buff, and then quickly tag out of the fight so that those variants can be more powerful now that their secondary abilities are fully unlocked. But for this video, I want to showcase a team where Inner Pieces is actually in the forefront center of the fight. And this idea really came from Denny, who requested a fighter showcase of Inner Pieces in my previous videos. Denny is also one of the top players in this game who has beaten the top multiple times to claim that legend spot. I'm very happy that we can collaborate on this video to showcase inner pieces in an angle that I've never really seen before. So just as a warning, this will be focused purely on rift battles. In rift battles, there's this obsession of trying to achieve perfection to get the most points possible. And this usually involves finishing fights as fast as possible while also retaining health as much as you can. In the video that I will showcase soon, Inner Pieces is used here for the second point, being a fighter that may not have the biggest damage but can definitely clear fights with maximum health. And thanks to Eliza's kit, Inner Pieces also has access to various utility tools such as command grabs, stuns, and buff removal. And this synergy comes from two particular pieces. The first is Sketchy. Sketchy as an air element will give Inner Pieces regen whenever she uses a blockbuster while also providing haste and immunity whenever she tags in. This ensures that Inner Pieces will stay healthy, can use blockbusters fast, and won't get crippled by debuffs easily. The second piece of this puzzle, and arguably the most important piece, is Robo Fortune. In particular, Xbot and Overclock. It just so happens that the Diamond Robo Fortunes synergizes extremely well with Inner Pieces for Rift Battles. Both of these variants have signature abilities that grant them stacks of barrier and precision very very easily. In addition, their elements also provide Inner Pieces regen and barrier whenever she uses a blockbuster, allowing her to regain lost health while providing extra health bars from barrier. And lastly, both Overclock and Xbot are formidable offensive fighters in their own right, so they can serve as a secondary fighter to hold enemies off for a while before Inner Pieces tags in to do her job. Without further ado, we're going straight into the video showcases by Denny. These clips are taken from videos in Denny's YouTube channel, so please go check them out if you're looking to improve your Rift Battle skills. I will be commentating throughout the fight as we're going along. In this first battle, we're up against Immortal Fiber, Biting Cold, and Blue Screen. Plenty of things to watch out here. Overclock tags in to hit Immortal Fiber with a precision attack, but Immortal Fiber did roll blessings, which complicates this. And oh, that phaser burn cleared up that single stack of blessing, dealing tons of damage for Overclock. What a shame. And we see Inner Pieces tagging out Biting Cold, but got hexed and immobilized from the modifier. This ain't looking good. Overclock tags in to deal with Blue Screen here, getting cursed from Sketchy. Catastrophe Cannon Alpha doesn't seem to deal enough damage for the kill here. Laser beams are being shot left and right, but Overclock landing a stun with a phaser burn and a few more phaser burn finally kills Blue Screen. Inner Pieces tags back in to fight against Biting Cold, which appears to be tainted, but those stacks of barrier and regen is keeping her healthy enough to not worry about the reflect damage at all. A Chaos Banish followed by a tag out flungs Biting Cold high, allowing Overclock to tag in safely. Overclock grabs Biting Cold and before she gets up, uses a Catastrophe Cannon Alpha to finally win the battle. The second match is similar with Twisted Metal, Model Leader and of course another Immoral Fiber. 
Inner Pieces gets cut with some bleed here from Twisted Metal's signature ability, and Denny is trying so hard to get rid of her from the stage. Another use of a command grab with a blockbuster gives Inner Pieces some regen stacks to cancel out those bleeds before patiently waiting for a safe tag out opening. Immoral Fiber enters the stage, and Inner Pieces attacks with Sekhmet before quickly tagging out so that Xbox can come in for a precision kill. A single phaser burn hits Immortal Fiber with that stun, and now it's just a waiting game till that final stand disappears. A phaser burn is launched before we got an opening for a precision boosted Theonite Beam to kill Immortal Fiber safely. Twisted Metal comes back in, and now Denny is moving back here to get a safe distance away from Twisted Metal until all of Xbox debuffs are removed so that Inner Pieces can tag in with all those buffs on her, and now is just trying to chip away Twisted Metal's health, but the reflect damage is dealing some hurt here. With just two uses of blockbusters, she quickly gains 4 stacks of regen to get all those health back. Twisted Metal dealing some damage here, but not enough to warrant any worry. Command Grab followed by some combos finally takes down Twisted Metal, and Mod Leader enters the stage. Xbot quickly tags in and shoots her with tons of laser beams to chip away some damage. The Catastrophe Cannon Alpha is shot, dealing not enough damage for a kill, but we see the tier 3 blockbuster charged up now, and it's just awaiting for the right moment in time to activate and secure that blockbuster finish. Looks like this is it, game over, and Mod Leader is down. Third match is finally something different with Vaporwave Vixen, Evergreen Evil, and of course, another Immoral Fiber. We see Vaporwave Vixen getting absolutely killed here with a single combo from Inner Pieces. What a beautiful play. Immoral Fiber enters the stage and Overclock tags in safely after a command grab, which is brilliant. And we're trying again to get that precision kill here. Laser beams are being shot all over Immoral Fiber to chip away some of that health before a precision boosted Theonite Beam goes in finally for the kill. Inner Pieces quickly tags back in after Evergreen Evil hits the stage, and with still a full health, these blockbusters are dealing tons of damage to Evergreen Evil. But Blessings is rolled and Overclocked is tagged in to try and secure that blockbuster finish. A single use of blockbuster activates final stand, making it even harder to take this monster down. Oh shoot, all those regens from Evergreen Evil signature ability activates? This is not looking good. Overclocked used a tier 3 blockbuster to try and finish Evergreen Evil off, but it missed! All those buffs are still intact! Inner Pieces tags in to try and finish this once and for all, activating that prestige ability, and a single use of a blockbuster just before final stand ends secures that kill. What amazing timing! Next match is against the dreaded Pain Wheels. Inner Pieces tags in and try to chip away Neuromancer's health, but Reflect Damage from Tainted Blood is dealing quite a number of health here. But with two blockbusters, four stacks of regen is gained and quickly filling that health bar again before finishing Neuromancer off with a Chaos Banish to get rid of that final stand. One down, two to go. Immoral Fiber enters and we see again another command grab followed by a tag in for Xbot. Now it's just the usual laser beams getting that stun from Phaser Burn and Catastrophe Cannon Alpha dealing some nice damage there. Xbot goes in for a grab followed by a Theonite Beam, but it doesn't kill Immoral Fiber. Thankfully, the second time Xbot does it, it connects and Immoral Fiber is down. Fighting Cold enters, dealing some nasty hits on Xbot, but quickly tags out for Inner Pieces to come in and deal some good damage there while activating stacks of regen from Blockbusters. We see Inner Pieces using a tag out to reset some combos and then a command grab to deal some hits with blockbusters with no fear of reflect damage thanks to the barriers and regen. Another tag out to reset some combos to chip some damage before Xbot comes back in to try and finish this once and for all. Xbot pokes Biting Cold to fully charge that tier 3 blockbuster, which is activated to chip away Biting Cold's health before completely removing that final stand and securing the win. The next one is similar, but Immortal Fiber is changed into Model Leader instead. Inner Pieces, of course, tags in to deal with the Pain Wheels, dealing just enough damage to not go over the 10% threshold from the Don't Poke the Bear Catalyst. Note how crucial these command grabs are to force offensive pressure against Neuromancer and prevent her from activating her signature ability throughout the fight. 
Then he moves back here to prevent Biting Cold's signature ability and a beautiful intercept right there to catch her on the air and poking Biting Cold with a flurry of blockbusters. Stacks of regen are again keeping Inner Pieces health up and a following command grab allows Inner Pieces to finish Biting Cold off. Now that the pain wheels are gone, Xbot can come in to deal with the model leader left standing. Xbot uses a Catastrophe Cannon Alpha that barely deals any damage with those stacks of armor gained by Model Leader. Xbot tries to get close to Model Leader but gets knocked back from a burst. A Theonite Beam is blocked and barely deals any damage, and another Catastrophe Cannon Alpha goes off but is fully blocked again by Model Leader. Denny here is really just trying to chip away Model Leader's health while charging up his own Tier 3 Blockbuster to finish Model Leader off in the end. Mod Leader gets a hit in, but barely deals any damage thanks to the barrier stacks from Xbot. Inner Pieces tags in here to deal some extra bit of damage with her own blockbusters and gaining those regen stacks. A command Grab flungs Mod Leader in the air for some extra bit of chip damage before Inner Pieces tags out again for Xbot to come in, do a grab, and finally finish Mod Leader off with a tier 3 blockbuster. Alright, next is a very tough matchup here against two Immoral Fibers and one Evergreen Evil. Immoral Fiber gets stunned from Variable Cutter, allowing Overclock to creep up to it, dealing some combos before finishing it off with a precision boosted Theonite Beam. The next Immoral Fiber lands and Overclock backs up a bit before dealing quite a good damage from a single Theonite Beam. A grab followed by another beam, almost finishes Immoral Fiber off but the other beams are blocked before Immoral Fiber yeets out of the stage for Evergreen Evil to come in. Variable Cutter with Theonite Beam dealing tons of damage there before Inner Pieces tags back in to finish her off. Command Grab flunks Evergreen Evil but Denny actually tags her out before finishing her off. Overclock tags back in to deal with Immoral Fiber before finally finishing her off with a grab and a final Theonite Beam. Evergreen Evil tags back in and a charged up tier 3 blockbuster finishes the match. Next, we have Plot Twisted with two Immoral Fibers. Plot Twisted was about to be tagged out but missed, so Xbot has to come in to deal with her. The AI, however, decides to tag Plot Twisted out and bring in an Immoral Fiber instead. Sketchy with the curse coming in clutch here to prevent buffs, but Xbot quickly tags out to bring in Inner Pieces back again, hitting Immoral Fiber with an uppercut and a stun. A flurry of combos and blockbusters dealing nice damage right there before a Command Grab flungs Immoral Fiber for Xbot to tag in safely and killing Immoral Fiber with a Precision Beam. Plot Twisted enters the stage, gets hit with a Phaser Burn, and retaliates with an Inferno of Leviathan, forcing Xbot to block the incoming damage. Inner Pieces tags back in and stunning Plot Twisted with Uppercut. A chain of blockbusters and combos deals a really good damage before Plot Twisted is tagged out again. Denny seems to try and kill Plot Twisted with Robo's Tier 3 Blockbuster to prevent the revival. The next Immoral Fiber gets stunned with a Phaser Burn, giving an opening for two precision boosted Theonite Beams to kill it fast. Plot Twisted enters, and Xbot grabs her before hitting her with a Catastrophe Cannon Alpha. Blockbusted procs, preventing the tier 3 Blockbuster and forcing Dandy to switch inner pieces back in. It seems the plan failed, but Sekhmet inflicts the curse to prevent the thorns when Plot Twisted gets revived. Inner pieces dealing really good damage here with Uppercut while waiting for Xbot to tag in. Xbot finally tags in, uses a tier 3 blockbuster, and the game is set and match. Now this is going to be the last match and this is actually against my own base with Neuromancer, Immoral Fiber, and Evergreen Evil. Neuromancer is tagged out and a command grab flungs Immoral Fiber for an uppercut and a flurry of blockbusters to get those stacks of barrier while dealing plenty of damage. Another Inner Pieces tags in using a command grab, followed by two more blockbusters to get two more stacks of barrier. Seems like he's going to try and tank Immoral Fiber's damage here. Immoral Fiber dies, dealing tons of damage to Inner Pieces, and Neuromancer tags in, but Inner Pieces uses a command grab before switching out and trying to chip some damage with blockbusters. Neuromancer, however, knocks Inner Pieces away with a burst. Inner Pieces patiently waits for a stinger before using a blockbuster to get close. Inner Pieces gets hit with some damage here and moves back with an uppercut, 
before switching out and dealing some extra damage with Sekhmet and dealing that crucial curse to prevent Grudge from Pain Wheel. Neuromancer is then tagged out to deal with Evergreen Evil. A command grab flunks Evergreen Evil to a Chaos Banish to the face, followed with a Blockbuster to get more regen and Barrier. A command grab followed by a Chaos Banish removes those buffs from Evergreen Evil before a Sekhmet Axe comes in to deal plenty of more damage. Final stand keeping Evergreen alive here, but Inner Pieces then switches and a final Chaos Vanish finally kills Evergreen Evil. Neuromancer is left and is quickly flung with a command grab followed by several blockbusters to the face. A tag out is used to reset the combo and Inner Pieces switches again and note that both health bars are completely full now. A quick use of blockbuster to chip some more damage followed by a command grab and a final blockbuster seals the deal. Okay y'all, that's going to be the end of this video. I'd like to give a big shout out to Denny once again. If you want to check him out, feel free to see the description for a link to his YouTube channel. Those clips have been so useful and I actually learned some neat tips and tricks on using Eliza and Robo Fortune together. Inner Pieces and Eliza in general are so good in Rift Battles. Hope you all found that useful. Let me know what to cover next down in the comments below. And don't forget to give a like and subscribe to help out with the algorithm. And finally, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers guys!